everyone's in their gardens and it's a bit windy. I'm on my roof, getting a bit of outside time. But um, yeah, I'm just showing you bits and bobs today while I'm trying to come up with some more designs. I've got lots of ideas. I'll insert some clips actually in a minute of me having to rehash one of my ideas. It's not rehashing it, no, that's a lie. I knew what I was doing. I had to write the instructions for various sizes and then figure out my size. And Anyway, I hope you enjoy the video today. I am going to show you some stash busting projects, or one stash busting project. I'm going to show you, like I say, a bit of a design work in progress. I'm going to show you this. I'll show you this now, hang on. This is the, I still don't know what I'm gonna call it. I'm, I can't get the idea of love grows out of my head. Love grows. And I said it could be a shawl or a blanket, but I think it's gonna be a bit more like a lap blanket. That's what I've decided. I've got another idea for a wrap, you see. It, this could be a shawl at the end of the day, but I'm not sure the size I want to make it. I don't think I'd call it that in the pattern. It would be more of a size of a lap blanket. Anyway. Da -da. Oh. I do love it. Look at the colours. You can see the cypress countryside. Not countryside, really. Urban cypress and countryside. I'm on the last repeat for this size now. So, starts off with a heart, then bubbles, then moss ribbony rose. Bubbles, moss ribbony rose. It's bigger and bigger, isn't it? So, if you had it as a shawl, it um, might not be long enough where the arm, yeah, it's not going to be long enough really. Nice to wrap up in though, and nice to have on your lap when you're a bit cold. It's a, a bit breezy actually, I'm going to have to put my jumper on in a minute. Um, but I'm going to use this pattern repeat to make a poncho and a wrap, and I had one other idea, what was it? Hmm, I have to think, I can't remember. Anyway, all the information is in the description box below for the yarns I've used. I've mentioned it, them before, I think, have I? Um, all the colourways. I'll show you them, I'll tell you them in size of order. But this one is, I don't know the numbers yet, I do, they're below, but this one is, I think it's Antique Rose. No, it's not, it's Desert Rose. Off-white, beige, moss, I think that might be dark beige actually, moss, desert rose again, uh, green, rust, brown, um, and I had the idea of releasing the pattern, when I release the pattern, I should say it like that, when I release the pattern, I'm going to release it as a normal pattern, but I think I'll provide it so that if you have a shop or a group of friends, and I also will be hosting in the future. You see the birdie there? Um, oh, I got a picture, a video of kestrels trying to make babies, I'll, I'll insert that. I don't know if the quality will be any good, but anyway. I'm going to release this pattern with um, a PDF that is designed to be for a crochet along. So it will have maybe eight, eight different parts to it. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the rest of the video, guys. Speak to you in a minute. So guys, I thought I'd show you another project I've got on the go. Um, now, since I decided to use more natural fibres in my crochet projects, I wanted to have some stash busters 
to make use of all the acrylic I still had in my collection. I gave away a lot of it. Um, my mum used to have an art shop, so we did have a lot of uh, an arts and crafts shop. So she had lots of yarn and fabrics that we held on to for a while. Um, and so I did give a lot of weight because obviously I've got a lot of friends through that and they do things for charity and stuff. Um, but so these are some of my colours. I do like earthy colours. And so there are no labels on any of these yarns, I'm afraid, that you'll see in here. Um, they, they are lovely though, aren't they? Very nice colours. Um, and so what I've been doing, I've been holding two strands together and so that the colours flow in. I've got this massive hook. It's a uh, size, there we go, sorry, six and a half millimetre. Pop that in one of the balls there. And this pattern um, is a corner to corner. Lots of dog hair on it. Um, but it's a corner to corner moss stitch, or some call it tweed stitch, um, linen stitch even. Um, and so this is the starting point. Um, and I have got the instructions for this stitch on my blog. Um, I'm thinking of creating another blog post actually to talk about using up yarns for these stash projects. Um, because I think the effect is so nice. You know, it, it looks like it's a yarn in and of itself, doesn't it, when it's like that. So... I just wanted to show you it. This is a um, nice, thick, snuggly, very squishy. And um, it's actually, it's kept in my picnic hamper. It's going to be a picnic blanket. Um, so the fact that it's acrylic and quite thick fabric because of all the, because um, holding two strands, they're DK weight as well, holding two strands together. Um, yeah, it's, it's a nice texture to um, keep your, bottom on a soft surface when you're sitting outside but also I'm not going to be too precious about it getting a bit of mud on it and grass and stuff like that um, and plus it won't really show up on these colours anyway um, but at least when I need to wash it I can just throw it in the washing machine but I think I'm going to make it quite big and I'm really excited about it and look at this texture it's so nice so yeah I'll get a blog post written soon for that um, I just thought I would share it with you. Look at the colours. So what I basically do is I have two strands and then I knot one of them off and then I keep going with one of them and then eventually I cut the original one and put a new one in but then leave the other one on, you know. So I alternate changing the yarn to get this sort of blended effect. And I do, um, let me just see if I can find, I do um, take off some of the colour because some of these are variegated. When there's a colour that I'm not keen on, I will just tie it out because I know I'll introduce it at another stage. Um, I think I've got a couple of swatches in here actually from, um, I've got other coloured yarns that, I, that don't match, but I did think, oh, perhaps I'll, um, yeah, here we go. Do one for my my son in some colours that he might like. So I quite like that. I tell you why I like these colours together because he loves dragons. Um, being half Welsh, bless him. Um, and I thought these colours were kind of dragony. It also looks like a landscape, doesn't it? Maybe more so that way. I don't know. When you hold it up. So um, yeah, I do love this sort of a project. You know, it's mindless, it's fun. Do what you want with it, really. Whatever you want, all sorts. 